Hi there, my name is Martin and today we're gonna build this module in Rhino. Um, I'm just gonna start up Rhino now. And what we do is just building um, the outline first. So we're gonna take this rectangle and start it from zero, zero with grid snap on and just type 90 to 60 in the top. Yes, now I'm doing it. <coughs> and put on enter so you have the square. So now we have the outline in which the module is created. And then there's also the cutout on the inside, which we just, and this time we're just gonna do with lines. And just move them down, minus 15, and create a line in the bottom also, always from point to point. So you have to have uh, O-snap on, and uh, you can see which one is used, and you just type 15, and you have the two lines in there. So we do some lines again and just do it from the sides and create two lines here and it's minus 20 in here and the other side plus 20. Forty in there, and put in a uh, wrong one. Put in ten in there. So now I'm just double checking if they are actually accurate. So just type distance in it, and you can measure stuff, which is forty millimeters up here. And with right click, you get the distance again. It's fifty millimeters. So with right click, you always get the tool you used before. So now I just move them five millimeters in, so to have like 40 also. So now we're gonna draw the line, which goes around here and pretty much makes up the module. So I'm using a polyline now, which is up here. So, and just start to draw the line. So now the polyline is closed um, and now we can delete all the other lines. Just check that you actually draw the polyline before like deleting everything. So now I'm just checking, so just keep it in place. I just was checking if there are some other lines. Um, still there so it already looks pretty good as the module we want to do but what I'm seeing now is like that the corners which are on the outside are kind of they're not as sharp as they are in the module right now 45 degrees line up here just two millimeters off on the grid so problem here now is the grid is grid is not as big so we have to make the grid bigger. So we could move that one, but I did, we go on file, go on properties, and then go on grid, and put a bigger line count in there. So put 100 in there. So now we have all the lines from here for the outside corners. And now we're gonna explode this line, which is here. 
and now what it says to you is like a curve into 12 segments what you can see like you have 12 segments um in so what we're going to do now is we turn on the curve point which you have to do with f10 on your keyboard so if you have a laptop it could be that you have to press your function button as well So that's the last one. So now we're gonna select everything and you can see some lines are selected and at some lines they're only like the, the uh, endpoints or like the control points are selected. It's the control points actually. If you have a polyline you will see the difference. Um, so just put on escape like twice and you go back to just having the curves. So now the curve points uh, disappeared and you just have the curves. And what we're going to do now is to put on joints. You have 20 curves in here and you, ch you join them here. And you have 20 curves joined into one closed curve. So what's really important that it's one closed curve, which shows you that there's not really a beginning and the end, but it's a closed circle. Extrude uh, close planning curve, just click on it and it opens up the tool or click on the line before and then click on the tool it doesn't really matter and you actually see it starts to grow like your mouse is moving measure it's about 45 and we click on enter and now you can see it is uh, an extrusion and as you see, Rhino doesn't forget anything, so there's still the curve and there is still um, your extru the extrusion. So let's delete the curve, do the perspective unshaded, and you can see that there's this module. It's 